umaabot ka mayang pangarap sa edukasyon para sa lahat. Sulong Edukalidad. This is Department of Education, Masinlog District. And you are listening to Masinlog on the Air here at TWSP 101.5 News FM. Hello, dear learners in grade 5. I am teacher Francine Jamil E. Figueres, teacher 3 of Inhobal Elementary School. And I will be your teacher today. Make sure that you have your guided learning activity kit, pen, and paper to take down notes the lesson that I am going to discuss. This video lesson is based on your guided learning activity kit Quarter 2, Week 8, entitled, The Need to Protect and Conserve Estuaries and Intertidal Zones. From the previous learning activity kit, you have learned the interactions among living things and non-living things in estuaries and intertidal zones, and that they are homes to different kinds of living things. This makes them a vital place on Earth. These places are meant to be protected by us human beings. However, most of our intertidal zones and estuaries are already under threat. Some of them have been converted to buildings, malls, parks, and subdivisions, while others are now polluted due to man's industrial activities. Thus, we should protect and conserve our environment now before it's too late. That is what you are going to learn after you finish reading and answering the lessons and activities in this guided learning activity kit. Our learning competency this quarter to week 8 is to explain the need to protect and conserve estuaries and intertidal zones. At the end of this guided learning activity kit, you are expected to Number 1. Enumerate ways of conserving and protecting intertidal zones and estuaries. And number 2. Understand the importance of protecting and conserving intertidal zones and estuaries. Let us see how well you understood the last week's lesson on factors that affect the intertidal zones and estuaries. Directions Identify the word being described. Number 1. Nurseries of the sea. Correct! The answer is estuaries. Number 2. Amount of the salt in the water. Good job! The correct answer is salinity. Number 3. Trees which grow on salt water areas. Great! The correct answer is mangrove. Number 4. Hotness or coldness of water. Very good! The correct answer is temperature. 5. Movement of the surface of water. Correct! The answer is wave. Are you ready? Now, let's have our discussion. Protecting and conserving our intertidal zones and estuaries. Estuaries are important because they filter dirt or garbage before the fresh water enters the seas or oceans. They also filter the salt from the seas and oceans before it enters the mouth of the river. They also play a vital role during storms since they serve as exit point of the flood. Can you imagine life without estuaries and intertidal zones? Here's what you can do as a grade 5 pupil to contribute on protecting the intertidal zones and estuaries. At home, avoid using synthetic fertilizers. Plants do not absorb them completely and it can be washed off into streams and waterways. Use natural fertilizers instead. Trim grass clippings from your lawn can be used as a natural fertilizer. Cut grass moderately. A little high can make roots move deeper and may lessen erosion. 
grow plants in your garden. Choose plants that are native to your area so that it will need less water and fertilizer. Dispose toxic products properly. Improper disposals may pollute coastal rivers and estuaries. Remind your parents to pump your septic tank at least every three years. Use non-toxic pesticides, example of which is a mixture of soap, water, and chili peppers. Excessive use of toxic pesticides can pollute nearby waterways. Look for natural alternatives to chemical-based household products, example of which are table salt and baking soda. Always clean up your pet's waste. Never let waste be washed up to water waste and end up polluting our estuaries. At the beach, leave your beaches clean. Always pick up your trash and dispose it properly. Do not disturb or keep animals you found in the shoreline. Avoid using motorized boats in sensitive habitats. Use canoe or kayak if you want to snorkel near to coral reefs. When on a boat, avoid throwing your trash out to the sea. These are simple, yet very effective ways that we can do to be able to contribute on protecting our intertidal zones and estuaries. Share this to your friends so that they can contribute also to protecting our environment. Now, let's move on to guided practices. Come and join me answering the questions. Guided practice number one, direction. Write a promise on how you will save and protect intertidal zones and estuaries. After making it, answer the following question. Number one question, why are intertidal zones and estuaries important? Estuaries are important because they filter dirt or garbage before the fresh water enters the seas or oceans. They also filter the salt from the seas and oceans before it enters the mouth of the river. They also play a vital role during storms since they serve as exit points for flood. Question number two. As a grade 5 pupil, what can you do to protect this ecosystem? As a grade 5 pupil, you can protect the ecosystem in and outside your home by abiding the rules stated in protecting the ecosystem. Guided practice number two. Let us do this together. Direction. Answer the following questions. Question number one. What can you do to help Mother Earth? You can help our Mother Earth through your actions. As an example, proper waste disposal, planting trees, and cleaning your surroundings. Number two question. How can you share your concern for the environment? You can share your concern to your environment by sharing to others the ways in protecting our environment so that they can also contribute in protecting our environment. Independent practice. You can do it. Direction. On a short cotton band, make a poster showing the different ways of protecting the intertidal zones and estuaries. And now, the rubrics for your output. Relativeness to concept, 50%. Creativity, 30%. Cleanliness, 10%. Uniqueness, 10%. Total of 100%. I have here samples of posters that show the different ways of protecting the intertidal zones and estuaries.
Let's have a quiz! Directions Circle the letter of the choice that best answers the question. 10 points A new shopping center was built on a reclaimed estuary. The table shows the number of plants before and after construction. Plants Flowers Before construction 500 After construction 1,000 Grass 1,000 Zero Shrubs 260 50 Trees 26 3 And data. A. Humans did not change the environment. B. There were fewer kinds of plants before the shopping center was built. Letter C. There were more kinds of plants after the shopping center was built. Good job! The correct answer is letter C. What can I do? Direction. Write a short essay on how you can protect the estuaries and intertidal zones. 